All right, what he's doing when he's sliding up is he's still playing an F, but instead of using an E bar chord, an E bar chord or an A minor, A, he's using a C chord. You know, you know it down here with your fingers that way. He's using his other fingers to play the C chord, and he's bringing it up to the fifth fret, right? C, D, E, F. And he's only using two fingers out of that to play that. Without distortion, it sounds very happy on an acoustic guitar, but either way, that's a bar across the fifth fret. And essentially, it, because he's only using two fingers, it ends up being an A7 uh, form that he's using, A minor 7. And he, so he's going uh, first fret above the bar on the B string, and second fret above the bar on the D string. And then... Uh, when he does his climb, if I can remember it, that second climb you asked about, he starts on a C, third fret of the A string. Nope. Uh, so he's doing C, D, E, G. Then an A. B, A. Back to A again. All right, no, so it's, uh, C, C again. Maybe I slowed it down enough for you to check out. I didn't prepare well for it, I just wanted to give you a different kind of view of it and see if it was at all helpful and explain that barred C chord. Same as any chord, even if you could take a G and you could move it up a fret, which is very difficult to do, you would then be making an A. Just like if you take it an E and you move it up, you end up with your F because there's only that half step between and then up to a G and up to an A. An A, if you move that up, you get your B flat, your B, your C, your D. And then with his C, we play there. If we were to move it up, we get a D. Move it up a whole step again. Then we get an E. Move it up that half step. F. Whatever chord you want to do it with, an open chord, whether it be a C, a G, an A, a D does the same thing. If you're playing a D and you move it up to here, now you're playing an E, there's an F, there's a G. Anyhow, good luck.